Well, we're just hours away from Super Tuesday. Alabama's Republican primary is set to determine who will face incumbent Doug Jones in November. Our Lee Pegg is at a mobile polling place in Lee with seven candidates on the ballot. Experts are saying this is probably heading to a runoff, right? Well, that is a real possibility, Byron and Lanise. Tonight, we're hearing from three of the top candidates in this race, Jeff Sessions, Bradley Byrne, and Tommy Tuberville, all three making the rounds today. They've all been crisscrossing the state looking for votes. Former Attorney General Jeff Sessions running for his old Senate seat. So I'm asking them uh, to let me lead in the Senate. I'm not going there to be a potted plant. I've got a record that I've done a lot of things that proven that I can lead and win and advance our issues. Congressman Bradley Byrne looking to make a move from the House to the Senate. His camp continues to make calls. Tens of thousands of phone calls. We, we did 170,000 text messages today. This voter turnout, this grassroots stuff that we're doing, we don't think any of our opponents are doing anything like that. And former Auburn head football coach Tommy Tuberville turned politician. I feel good I'm getting ready to sack the bats and circle the wagons. This thing's about over. Hadn't taken too many days off. My wife said don't come home to you win. So I hadn't been home much. It's a race centered around who's the most qualified and can best support President Trump's agenda. I'm ready to go now, and if I win this election in November, and I believe I will, uh, we're going to start working right then. I know what the issues are. I've watched them. I led them. I fought for them. And with President Trump, uh, he's now moving uh, an agenda that I think is right for America. The Senate race, we've got to take the seat back, because that assures, if we do that, that we'll have a Republican majority in the Senate. And that person's got to be ready on day one to do the things that have to be done to support President Trump. There's going to be a lot of things happening starting the 1st of January next year, and our new senator needs to be ready to go. A lot of people hurting. A lot of people want a different voice in Washington, D.C. That's one of the reasons I'm running. I'm not a politician. It's time we drain the swamp, and uh, I want to give the people of Alabama a voice and not go up and listen to special interests. If no candidate receives the majority of the vote, at least 50% plus one, there's a runoff set for March 31st. We're live tonight in Mobile, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.